Katie Gallagher was found dead in her bed on Sunday, July 24th. It took eight months to rule the death a homicide. Her case sounds very familiar. Katie Gallagher had made her mark in the fashion world. She dressed Lady Gaga and actress Laverne Cox. The Pennsylvania native was also profiled in the biggest fashion magazines. But Gallagher was found dead last summer in her apartment on Eldridge Street. The Office of Chief Medical Examiner now revealing the 35-year-old designer died in a drug-facilitated theft from the combined effects of fentanyl, P-fluorofentanyl, and ethanol. The same three drugs were present in the toxicology report of Brooklyn social worker Julio Ramirez, who was found dead last April in the back of a cab downtown, 90 minutes after leaving the Ritz bar in Hell's Kitchen, where he'd been joined in the taxi by three men. His death was also ruled a drug-facilitated theft and homicide. Ramirez had additional drugs in his system like cocaine and lidocaine. In early June, political consultant John Umberger had most of the same drugs in his system when he was found dead several days after leaving the Q Club in Hell's Kitchen. I mean, we believe the lidocaine is what really had the effect on uh, incapacitating these people. In December, the NYPD chief of detectives announced at least six people had died in drugging thefts in 2022, with about two dozen others surviving similar incidents. Kenwood Allen, who has a long rap sheet, has already been charged with felony murder in two of the drugging deaths last year. And PIX11 News learned he and his alleged crew have been connected to two other fatal druggings where the victims were dumped in the Riverdale section of the Bronx. Now, we already know that various grand larceny crews have been operating downtown and in Hell's Kitchen. They are using dangerous drugs to immobilize their victims and facial recognition to unlock their phones.